wave of energized women are determined to make their voices known. I think it's a critical election. I think the choices are clear and the issues are, are major. And if you don't come out and vote, then you have no say in the, those decisions. We have to make sure that uh, the people that we have in office care for us as well. With life-changing issues on the line and which party holds power in Congress at stake, we're seeing a surge of women registering to vote and casting their ballot. There's a renewed sense of urgency for female voters to elect candidates who share their beliefs. In 2018, we saw a record number of women elected to Congress. Some called it a pink wave. Now that term is being used to describe the high number of women expected to vote in this midterm election, driven largely by the Supreme court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. After the high court's ruling, women on both sides of the abortion debate showed up in droves for rallies. Now they're using their vote to send a message. I do have very strong beliefs on abortion and I'm very happy that um, Roe versus Wade was overturned. I just think that we are a country based on freedom and the freedom to choose what happens to you individually. Sarah Trinacors tells me she has three daughters. Two of them are able to vote. She says issues like protecting a woman's right to choose is top of mind for them. I do believe it will bring more women out to the polls. But Aviana Brew says it's household budget issues like higher costs for housing, food and gas that are driving women like her to vote. I agree with you. The pink wave is coming, but I think it's going to be very surprising how it turns out. It remains to be seen which party, red or blue, most benefits from the increased interest in this year's midterm election. But it's clear certain female voters are motivated. If you look back to the 2018 midterm election, 55% of women voted.